In this Power World video, we go over five crazy glitches you do not want to miss. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. Also, to be in with a chance of winning a copy of this game, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on, and winners will be announced at the end of the week. Good luck. Now, by the time you do indeed watch this video, some of these may be taken out of the game, which is unfortunate, but hey, at least you get to see them here in action. Okay, so first up, guys, we have the duplication glitch. As of right now, the date is, let me just quickly check my phone, people. The date is Wednesday, the 24th of January. This is still working. I currently did this literally, guys, two minutes ago. So this 100% still works. So all it does is require good timing. I actually made a video on this where I go into way more depth about it, which I'll link in the video description. But it does go as follow, guys. So how this works is you build something with said required materials. You place the item down, you cancel it, and you double up, you duplicate the materials required to craft it. And this works with literally anything you can place down on the floor. Okay, so to do this, guys, you need to have a base, obviously. And then guys, you want to go to the outer edge, the outer edge of your base, which is that blue circle. Now, once you are here, you want to build a storage box on the inside of your base. So it's inside of that blue circle. Then guys, you want to bring up the item you want to build and duplicate and get those materials back for doubling up on them every single time you do this. And given you have the room, this works with any item you can place down. So this is how this works. You want to place down the item as you walk out of the circle, walk out of your base's barrier. Uh, it's important to also note that the materials to craft the item we are duping must not be in your inventory. They need to be inside of your base in any random container. It doesn't matter. So place the item down inside of your base, inside of that blue circle, as you step outside of that blue circle, your base. Because if you step outside of that circle where you try and craft, you'll see the warning of insufficient materials. And the trick here is to time it right where you step out of your base as you place the item down to build. So if you do time this right, you can then cancel the build in which you get the materials back for them. But in actual fact, guys, you never use your own. You never use required materials in the first place. So therefore, we're just doubling up on said materials required to craft said items. So you are basically doubling up on the materials. Now it will take some good timing on your behalf and you won't do it every single time, not until at least you get the technique down. And as you can see me doing on screen now, it does take good timing. I'm doing it on a funny ledge as my base is more or less completely included. So uh, this is where I had to test this out. But on a flat surface, if you can do that, it will be much, much easier to pull off. Although I wasn't really struggling whatsoever. Now, while we're on the subject of duping, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've seen this a couple of times now. There is another dupe glitch that happens in the game. Now, I'm not sure how you initiate this, but what your spot is, sometimes out of the blue, randomly, one of your pals will be constantly dropping certain said items, and it's indefinitely. I noticed this, and you're seeing this on screen now at the corner of my eye. There was a pal. I don't know how he got where he was, but it's just constantly dropping said material. So what I did was, being kind of smart, I was just built an actual container underneath him and just let all the, the materials gather up, pick them all up, I was over encumbered, put them in the container box and there we have it. Now if this actually happens to you, if you recall the pad, it stops happening. You put your pad in your power box, it stops happening too. And it could probably work with multiple different materials too. I don't know. But it's definitely a thing I've seen a couple of people talk about. So yeah guys, if you spot this, let me know. Next up, we have capturing tower bosses. Yes, you heard that right. You can capture those tower bosses. Absolutely crazy. So firstly, guys, you need to find and locate said tower boss you want to catch. It doesn't matter which one it is. Make sure you know the location of them because what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel to them and we have to do it in a jiffy. Then, guys, you want to head to any settlement on the map where you will encounter friendly NPCs. Then you need to trigger the wanted status. And to do this, guys, you need to hit or shoot any of these friendly NPCs. Once you do this, you'll get that wanted status pop up on your screen in the top right. From here, guys, you need to fast travel to said tower boss location. So you remembered where it was, you need to fast travel to it. Once you are here, guys, you will notice that the NPCs will have followed you over that fast travel. 
the NPCs that are chasing your ass. Now, guys, you want to start the encounter with said tower boss. Now, once you are in here, guys, you don't want to initiate a fight. You don't want to hit the tower boss yourself. The NPCs that are after your ass will follow you in. And what you want to do now, guys, is you need to glitch out that tower boss. And to do this, you need to try and get the NPCs that are chasing you to shoot at the boss. I don't know what happens, and it happens about 90% of the time. It bogs out that tower boss once it hits it. The tower boss will then run into the corner and just stands there. From here, guys, you can simply run over and chuck a sphere at them. And then it's a 100% capture rate, so you ain't got to worry about what sphere you use. But then, if it works right for you, you will notice the boss is now yours. That tower boss is now yours to use as your everyday pal. Now, keep in mind also, although you own these pals, they do come with those boss stats. For instance, guys, my current tower boss has over 150k HP which is semi broke so yeah take advantage of this while you can what i will say is the attacks don't seem to hit any harder than your standard pad attacks but in regards to the hp yeah absolutely crazy people okay so next up guys i'm going to show you a quick little trick a nice little glitch which allows you to fly up into the sky boost up into the sky and to glide across the map early on as long as you have that glider now you don't want to be doing this unless you have that glider otherwise death awaits for you so to do this guys it's pretty simple simply catch any pal then mid catch jump on top of that sphere if you land that catch and you get that pal you are slung into the sky from here pull out your glider and glide across the map this can be used early on to get to certain places but it's more of a fun one in my opinion mm. yeah. Next up guys we have, I'm not even sure if this is a glitch, more of a trick, which works with you being able to rotate dungeon bosses. So if you go into any dungeon on the map, you get to that boss room encounter. If the boss is a power you want to try and catch, but the current boss you've encountered isn't one you want, you can rotate said boss. And to do this guys, you need to just run back on yourself. So run back away from that boss room a certain distance, then run back and that boss will have rotated to a different pal. And you can do this people until you get that pal you want. It really is that simple. You can also do this with individual dungeon rooms and resetting the powers inside of them. So if you're exploring the dungeon, one of the many dungeons on this map, if there's a certain power you want within said dungeon area, you can reset said areas for powers to respawn by running away and coming back to them. Pretty cool. Okay, so lastly guys, I'm not sure if this is a glitch, more of a great tip, but I'm pretty sure it will be patched out of the game either or. So if your pals get hurt to a point where they have to be added to that power box for 10 minutes to recover, to actually reset this timer instantly guys, you can actually just put them in your party and then go to sleep. This instantly resets that timer. Now I've tried this like 5 minutes ago and it worked fine for me. My pal on Xbox said it didn't work for him, so I'll test this one out people. Maybe it has to be night time, I'm not too sure. But for me it definitely worked as you see on screen now. But well, there we have it guys, five amazing glitches, tips and tricks you do not want to miss. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.